Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under, and today we have the top 10 free to play low spec games of 2021 that you can play on Steam. Please note that this video will not feature hugely popular games like Team Fortress 2, CSGO, Dota 2 and so on, and will only feature games that require low spec processors and graphics cards. So if you're excited, make sure to like the video right now and subscribe, but with that said, let's get straight into it. Coming in at the number 10 spot, we have the part arena shooter, part Minecraft building game called Sector's Edge. The concept is straightforward. You're thrown into a completely destructible, blocky battlefield, and you need to build structures to gain cover and outsmart your opponents. Sector's Edge combines this with extremely smooth and fast gameplay, quick building, and spot-on gun mechanics that really bring the whole package together. Performance-wise, Sector's Edge has insanely low minimum specs, with 1GB of RAM and NVIDIA Quadro FX 1700 being required. So basically, anybody can beat this level, as this graphics card is over 13 years old. Recommended specs is a GTX 960, which is a little bit higher, but yeah, in general, anybody can run this game. Next up, let's talk about World of Tanks Blitz, which is a tank game developed by Wargaming, the makers of the original World of Tanks. Now before I start, let me make it clear that Blitz is a version of World of Tanks that was made for the mobile, and then it was ported to the PC. This does mean that the graphics have been toned down, however it also means that this game is extremely easy to run with only a 2GHz processor and 2GB of RAM being required. Gameplay wise, World of Tanks Blitz is also simplified, which does make it more casual and easy to pick up and play. There's tons of tanks, 7v7 combat and a string of content over the lifetime this game has been out, so it's an easy to run solution if you want a World of Tanks fix on a bad PC. These next two are the kings of the clicker genre, so I had to group them together, and that's Adventure Capitalists and Clicker Heroes. Adventure Capitalists is simple. You start with a lemonade stand, and you start to make money by clicking and clicking and clicking. You then hire managers, buy upgrades, diversify your investments, and see the virtual dollars roll in, all while you keep upgrading. Clicker Heroes goes in a different direction, as you start out by clicking on a monster to kill them, and then you get gold. You then spend that gold on hiring new heroes and getting more damage, which increases the amount of gold that you get, etc, etc, as you grow exponentially and the numbers just go crazy. Despite the simple concept, both these games have a surprising amount of depth, and also their only requirements is about 500 megabytes of RAM, which every PC has. So these are truly the easiest to run games out right now, and given by the amount of positive reviews, they're pretty fun too. Fallout Shelter on the surface is a pretty simple game. Build and manage your own vault which keeps people safe from the nuclear apocalypse as a leader and coordinator. Gameplay revolves around keeping the citizens of the vault happy by providing power, food and water, and you can rescue dwellers from the wasteland too, assigning them to different sections of the vault. Minimum specs for this game are incredibly low, with an Intel Core 2 Duo processor, 2 gigs of RAM and a GeForce GTS 250 graphics card being required, which are lower specs for even 10 year old computers, making this a treat to run. While not as much of a fully fledged title like some of the other games on this list, Fallout Shelter is the perfect distraction during the match queue or if you want to go and kill some time. Bloons Tower Defense is an absolutely classic childhood game, and developers Ninja Kiwi have targeted the free to play multiplayer scene with Bloons TD Battles. Compared to the main series, which is a generally single player affair, Battles is specifically designed for multiplayer combat, featuring the ability to control Bloons directly and send them charging past your opponent's defenses. Performance wise, this game is probably one of the easiest to run out of this whole list. You only need a gig of RAM and a 2 gigahertz processor, which every PC has right now, so I guarantee anyone could play this game. Next up, we have Aim Lab, the free to play Aim Trainer. Similar in vain to Kovacs and as such, Aim Lab's goal is to make you better at first person shooters and it does it very well, with its huge array of training types and custom settings. With this amount of depth, Aim Lab is perfect for honing your aim, especially when you load up different settings that YouTubers have made. Aim Lab also delivers with very low specs, with the recommended system requirements being a Core 2 Duo processor, 4 gigs of RAM and a GTX 560 which is fantastic, and especially so compared to Kovacs which needs at least an i5 and a GTX 660, and hey, this one is free as well. 
Low spec computers and trading card games go hand in hand, and Gwent right now is the king of the trading card genre. Based on the Witcher universe, Gwen takes the familiar concepts seen in Hearthstone, Shadowverse and more, of fast-paced duels that combine bluffing, on-the-fly decision-making and careful deck construction. Now Gwen's gameplay is quite reminiscent of Hearthstone and the like, and that makes it easy to pick up if you're a card game fan, and even if you're not, it's fairly easy to get into. Graphically, this game looks fantastic, and specs wise, it's actually quite reasonable. The minimum is an Intel Celerion processor and a GeForce GT 730 graphics card, so not the lowest out of this list, but extremely manageable for 2021 standards. It goes without saying that I'm quite a big fan of Kronka and for good reason. The fast-paced, class-based, slide-hopping field first-person shooter features a ton of classes, great maps and great modes with incredible movement and shooting mechanics. It's my main game for a reason. Now Kronka recently hit the Steam store and it's the perfect time to check it out if you haven't, especially since its recommended specs is only a 3.5 GHz processor. You can of course also play this game in the browser, which is perfect for the Chromebook users out there, but if you can, try out the Steam version for improved performance. Now with that said, if you're interested and you want to sign up for Krunker, make sure to use my referral link in the description below as it's one of the best ways to support the channel and I thank you guys so much if you decide to use my link. Brawlhalla, the Super Smash Bros-esque fighting game for the PC has garnered a huge following for its faithful recreation of the classic fighting game concept, a stage-like area where your aim is to knock your opponent off the edge. Attacking your enemies increases their damage bar, they get knocked off once the bar is full, it's timeless and Brawlhalla takes that Super Smash Bros idea to the next level. Graphics wise Brawlhalla goes with a 2D style, but this doesn't detriment the game in the looks department as all the characters are detailed perfectly. Wonderfully inspired models across the whole line of characters in conjunction with the varied backdrops and stages not only means Brawlhalla is nice to look at, but it's also extremely easy to run as the recommended specs is only 2 gigs of RAM. In certain aspects, Brawlhalla is a simpler game than Smash and thus makes it more easier for new players to pick up and play, which is directly related to the huge success that it has on the Steam platform. Make sure to go and check it out if you're interested, and given these low specs, it really makes sense to check it out. The honourable mention for today is a quick one for you Tycoon fans out there, and it's called OpenTTD, an open source remake of Transport Tycoon Deluxe. This game replicates the classic UI in gameplay, but it also adds larger maps, more building options, and a ton more features. System requirements for this game is pretty funny. Under minimum, it just says processor, yes, and 256 megabytes of RAM. And recommended is a tad higher with a 2 gigahertz processor and half a gig of RAM, but given the age of the game OpenTT is replicating, this really makes sense of why it's so easy to run. Coming in at the number one spot, we have Unturned, one of the most popular free-to-play Steam games out right now. Unturned is an open-world survival game where you have to survive in the zombie-infested ruins of modern-day society. And like most games in this genre, you can form alliances with friends or fight against other players, it's all-out war. Now graphically, Unturned is in a league of its own. It looks fantastic and it works really, really well with the gameplay. Now system requirements wise, it's incredibly low. The minimum specifications is a two gigahertz processor with four gigs of RAM, and then you just need a DirectX version 10 graphics card, which is incredibly, incredibly old. The easy to run nature, the gameplay, the depth, the modability, there's so much to this game and it really, really makes sense that Unturned is one of the most popular popular free-to-play Steam games out right now and it's very deserving of the number one spot on today's list.